What's up guys, Philip here and I am back in the garage today to talk to you guys about the Titan Fitness Belt Squat V2. I want to give you guys a little bit of a review over it and I would like to tell you whether I recommend it for another home gym user. So let's talk about it a little bit. So it is important that I mention that I bought this machine secondhand from a guy for about $500. It was in very good shape and I do believe that that is about $50 less than it originally sold for. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger, but it is the version 2. If you get it new, it will be the version 2, but if you buy it secondhand, make sure it is the version 2. And you will know by the fact that you can adjust the length of the lever arm that you hook the belt into. You want that because if it is too short, it will put you right on top of the handle that you hold on to as you're using it and make for an unpleasant experience. So make sure you get the version 2 either way you buy it. So now I want to run down just some of the specs for this machine. The Titan Belt Squat is 232 pounds with a 1,000 pound weight capacity. It has 16 and a half inches of loadable space on the weight posts with four storage weight posts that have 9.75 inches to counterbalance the weight on the machine. It has a diamond plated foot plate that is 49 inches wide and 24 inches deep and it has an overall footprint of seven and a half feet wide by five feet deep. It has multiple depth points for the bottom stopper to adjust the depth of the squat and it has multiple adjustment points for the lever arm to put you closer or further from the handle. So to use this Titan Fitness belt squat, you simply take the belt that is included with the machine and you put it around your waist. Then you connect the carabiners on each end of the belt to the eyelet at the end of the lever arm. Once you are secured, you just stand up and pull the handle back, which disengages the J cups that the lever arm is resting on. After that, you just do your squats, and when you're done, you push the handle back forward, which will re-engage those J cups and allow you to set the lever arm down safely. After that, you just unstrap yourself. So why should you get a belt squat? Well, I got one for two specific reasons. Number one, if you have a back injury or an upper body injury of any kind, you can still squat. The way the belt squat works, it puts the pressure on your hips and your lower body in general exclusively. And so you don't have to worry about how your upper body is feeling when doing it. So if you do have some type of injury, then it's a great way to get a squat movement and at least maintain that strength while you can't do normal squats. Number two is the fact that sometimes when I'm deadlifting, I like to throw a squat accessory of some type in my training for the day. And a belt squat is a great choice because at that point I have quite a lower back pump and I don't want to tax that even more through some type of squatting movement. So a belt squat works perfectly in that scenario as well. So what do I like about this Titan Fitness Belt Squat? Well, two things really. Number one, it's very cheap, coming in at about $6.99 plus tax with shipping baked in, compared to a Rogue Rhino, which is more like $22.95 plus tax plus shipping. So after all is said and done, it's a third, more likely a fourth of the price of a machine like the Rogue Rhino. And I do believe that it will um, be sufficient for really most people out there. Unless you became Larry Wheels overnight, you're gonna be fine with this machine. It says it's a thousand pound weight capacity. I would probably give it five or 600 pounds before it got a little sketchy. But that's plenty with this machine because it's deceivingly heavy. I've had up to 270 pounds of plate weight on it and that gave me all I could handle. So if you're a super freak, maybe this machine's not for you, but for 99.5% of the people out there, this machine's gonna be just fine. So what do I not like about this Titan Fitness Belt Squat? Well, there isn't too much for me to harp on, but I have a few things. Number one, it's only about 232 pounds. So if you don't weigh it down and you put any considerable weight on it, it will slide around on you. I've had it slide around on me mid set. And so that's a little bit sketchy. Um, number two is the fact that I feel like they, um, 
had too many pieces that bolt together. I feel like they could have welded some of the stuff, including the actual weight horns on the lever arms. Those could have been welded. And there are a few other pieces, like the lever arm is multiple pieces. I feel like that could have been welded too. And I think that would have been a little bit higher quality. And I think the weight horns could have also been not a black powder coat. That would have made it a little bit more premium. But again, those are small harps on a piece that is a fourth of the price of one of the bigger, um, more robust units. So all in all, I would say not too big of a deal. So with all that being said, I would definitely recommend this piece, guys. I mean, it's $6.99. It's a fraction of the price of a Rogue Rhino. And while I will not sit here and try to make the argument that it is as nice as a Rogue Rhino, I will say that it is going to be 80 or 85% as nice for a fraction of the price. So I 100% recommend it. And I am very, um, I have a good outlook towards this piece because it was 550 and it's 700. I mean, 700 I think is still a fair price for this machine. And it hasn't gone up as much as some of Titan Fitness's other popular leg machines. You know what I'm talking about. So overall, definitely would recommend this piece. It's a great belt squat at a great price. And if you guys want to know anything else about it, just drop a comment down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching this, and I will see you guys later.